I'm Dave Pavlich, and this is Face to Face. Fight fans, welcome to a very special edition of MFC Face to Face. I'm your host, Dave Pavlich, and I'm joined with Sam Alvey and my man, Jason South, here fighting for the middleweight championship in hours to come. Guys, who's taking the belt home? I'll be taking the belt back with me to California. To say, I'm, I'm, I got my, I'm gonna give everything I can, take that belt home with me. Now, what does this belt mean to you, Sam? I know this is your second crack at it, and Mark doesn't really give too many second chances here in the Maximum Fighting Championship. Why do you think he gave you the opportunity, and how are you going to take advantage of it? You know, the first fight I had that I, that I, I lost, I, I went in not the champion, and I left not the champion. Uh, and it was close. I, I think had I walked in the champion, I would have left the champion. Um, but I earned that shot with my knockout over Jay Silva. Uh, Mark was... Uh, gracious enough to give me another shot, and uh, I'm, I'm taking it home this time. Jason, MaximumFighting.com came out with a Z Files, a predictions from people around the business, uh, professional, other fighters, uh, reporters, and only two people out of, I think, 10 or 20 picked you. How does that make you feel? It doesn't really matter to me, you know. I'll be 36 years old. I'm supposed to be the old guy, the underdog, you know. I've always been there. It doesn't matter to me. The predictions doesn't bother me. You're 10-0, undefeated fighter. Are you worried about losing that O ever? Oh, of course. Always worried about losing it. But, you know, every fight I go in there and I give it everything I can and leave it on the line, that's all I can do. At this point of your career, you just had a new daughter. What would a loss be? You know what, a loss is not acceptable. Uh, I, I've trained too hard uh, and now sh shoot, a loss means I, I lose to her. Her first time ever seeing me do anything and I lose and I, I can't start her off that way. Do you think that that motivation that he has from having a new a newborn child is going to be an advantage coming into the fight? Oh sure, definitely. I mean, he's got something to fight for. I'm, I'm the same, you know. I've got three kids myself at home and they're going to be able to watch us on TV. So, uh, always got motivation to, to win. When you visualize this fight, how do you see it ending? Um, I, I don't visualize an ending, I, I just visualize like how it's going to end, I just visualize my hand getting raised. I mean, it's a fight, anything can happen, and as long as I get my hand raised, that's all that matters to me. How do you see this fight ending on your end, Sam? I, I see uh, this fight ending with him not getting his hand raised. <laughs> I see my hand raising at the end of it. Um, you told me earlier today that if you don't get knocked out, you'll be fine. I know you're joking about it, but does that thought ever cross your mind? Oh, of course, you know. I don't want to get knocked out in front of my wife, you know, and he's got heavy hands, so yeah, of course the thoughts always cross my mind. What, what about Sam's stand-up um, is it that, that's so vicious and knocks people out? Um, well, he's very comfortable there. I'm very comfortable there myself, but, you know, he... Everybody has their niche and what they do and what they're good at doing, and he's good at doing that, so obviously I have to watch out for it. A lot of the critics say that you might just want to take this fight onto the ground because you've got 10 wins all by submission. Is that something that your game plan is going to be facing, just take him down? He's got a good wrestling background. You know, No matter how bad I want it to the ground, I might not get it there. I'm coming in prepared to keep it standing if, if that's where it needs to go. This is going to be a fight. Sam, when you go into the ring, I know you're all smiles all the time, your nickname's Smiling Sam, but do you have any dark anger that goes in there? Because, I mean, it's a controlled atmosphere. You know, street fight's easy because you hate the guy, blah, 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 but you're going in there at a specified date and time and you got to punch somebody in the face. What, what has to go through your mind? What's the mindset going in? You know, this is, this is a sport like any other. Uh, football players don't go out, you know, pissed off, ready to play football. Uh, neither do I. I go out there knowing I know I do my sport well, knowing I trained with the best, knowing I, I do everything I have to, to to be the best I can be. Football players don't go in there punching each other in the face and trying to hurt each other either. Well, I guess to hurt. Football players get a lot more concussions than we do. Uh, so hockey and baseball probably doesn't. But anyways, none of those guys are uh, going out there pissed off. They're going out there knowing they're the best at what they do. And I'm the same, same way. This is a sport. I love doing the sport. I train to be good at this sport. And um, I, I go out there and enjoy the sport. Jason, do you think you're the best man coming into this fight? I think so. You know, I did an interview before, so the, said the same thing. I don't have to hate him to hit him, you know. We, we hit some of our best friends every day in training. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I came in prepared. I'm, 
hopefully get me get my hand raised. What do you bring to the table that is going to take Sam out? Um, I've got a pretty good stubbornness, you know. I, you know, I like to think I'm just one of those guys that just won't go away. So keep coming at it until I get what I want. Who wants this fight more? Who wants to take that belt more? Just by looking at each other right now, who do you think wants it more? Well, we both want it. <laughs> yeah, we, I'm sure we both want it. We both I, want it bad for our own reasons, but you know, it's going to be who's going to be able to impose their will on the other. I, I stepped out of the cage against uh, the MFC uh, ring, I should say, uh, against Jay Silva, and I started training for this day. I didn't know it was official yet, but uh, I, I was training from day from you know four months ago. So I, I'm ready. What, what brought you guys to the sport of mixed martial art? What brought you to this level? What brought you to a world championship fight here? What is it that makes you guys different than all the other middleweights in the world? You, you know, I, I think I like the sport more than most fighters do. Most fighters go in there because they're, they want to prove they're bigger and badder than everyone. And it's never been the case for me. I, I went in there thinking, hey, this is something I can do on a Saturday. And uh, it turned out to be something I, I have a strong passion for. And uh, I, I would do it whether I was the best in the world or just, you know, another Saturday night, you know, to do something. I feel the same, you know, we, we're, we're guys that, you know, we don't have egos. We're not in there, to, in there to prove who's got a bigger chest. We just love the sport and enjoy it and, you know. But I mean, like, it, let, let, let's face it, this is a sport of getting punched in the face, of punching somebody else in the face, trying to hurt somebody or trying to choke somebody out. What is it about that that you guys love? You know, I can't, t couldn't tell you exactly. It's it just the rush you get of doing everything, uh, the training, the, the, you know, the, the actual fight, the getting hit, the, you know, hitting someone else, the chess match that goes so fast. Uh, 15 minutes is not a long time to be in that ring, and uh, you go through just every emotion in that 15 minutes, and it's, I, I live for it. Yeah, same. I mean, getting in trouble and getting back out of it, and, uh, you know, this is it's a chess match. It's a pretty brutal chess match, but it is. Training for this championship fight, I'm, I'm guessing that both your guys' camps were grueling. What motivates you to go through that pain to get where you want to go? What do you think about? What wakes you up in the morning to get to that gym and to train? Is it your, is it your newborn daughter? Is it making money? Is it to be a world champion and be recognized as the best? What is it that motivates you guys? Uh, yeah, my family definitely motivates me. Uh, I was married and had a baby, my first baby girl this, this year, and that uh, has definitely helped me get up uh, you know, in the morning, real early, go for my run, go for my workout, lift in the afternoon. Uh, it's huge inspiration seeing her every day. Yeah, same. You know, I love, I love the sport. I love the competition. I love you know, competing. I do it for my family. I do it for myself. You know, I do it for my own sanity. You know, that's... I'd be lost without the sport. I spoke to Rama earlier and he was talking about everybody has doubts. What kind of doubts do you have leading up to a fight? Do, do bad thoughts cross your mind like, oh, I might lose this fight or I might, you know, do that, does that drive you? Of course. I mean, I'm driven to, you know, I, I don't come in this to be second place, you know. Of course, losing is a devastating thought to me. So, yeah, I'm driven really hard to do my best not to let that happen. Now, you guys are both coming into this fight wanting to be the champ, knowing you're going to be the champ. <laughs> Why do you think that you're better than, than Sam? Um, I don't say I'm better than him. I just, you know, I think... Well, you got to be better than him to win, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I'm just hoping to be able to impose my will and, and do my thing. And, you know, I've worked really hard at this. I'm going to do everything I can in my power. And what is... What, what is elaborate on will. What does imposing your will mean? Um, just doing what I do best, you know, uh, get in, uh, do my, fight my fight and, you know, get my hand raised. What about you, Sam? Uh, you know, the secret to winning any fight is you got to hit the guy harder and more often than he hits you. And, uh, I, I've got a pretty big record and I've been doing, I've been doing a lot of hitting pretty hard. So, uh, it, you know, brings me some comfort knowing that I've got, I've got experience. Does it bring you joy? to hurt an opponent or to knock out an opponent? Yeah, I, I suppose it, it does. I, because it, during that, at least that competition, I won. Uh, you know, it, he, he brought his best, I brought my best, and I, I won. And you, I mean, no matter what you do, you gotta take pride in, in succeeding at it. Do you think you're gonna uh, knock Jason out? Uh, yeah, I sure hope so. <laughs>
I, you know what, I, we, we've got, I mean, the two of us have a lot of tools we can use, but you know what, I, I, love, I love the fans uh, on their feet cheering the whole time, and, and they love seeing knockouts, they love seeing submissions and slams and big takedowns. Uh, so I, I, hope, uh, I hope it ends in spectacularly. And what about you? How do you feel about that? How do you feel about going into a fight knowing that somebody wants to knock you out and make you go to sleep in front of your wife, in front of your kids on national television? Well, it lights a fire, you know. I, I don't want to get knocked out in front of my wife, you know. You know, it, it goes both ways. It lights a big fire under me to not let it happen and exactly, once again, impose my will and get my hand raised. Judging by how Sam is talking and his demeanor, does it make you more confident going to this fight or less confident? No, it's actually, uh, I, I'm just as confident either way, you know, it's, uh, like I said before, I think it's nice fighting a guy that's, you know, got a good height on his shoulders as well, it's not mean mugging me and everything, it's, you know, it, the, the result's going to be the same, you know, we're going to go in there and we're going to try and hit each other, but it's, it's nice not having a, a grunt match beforehand. Do you, you, you don't really pull that, the, the grunt, like he said, the, the stare downs and all that kind of good stuff. Does it motivate you more when somebody's staring at you like that or it, does it not matter? You know what I love doing when people are mad dogging me is I do whatever I can to try and break them, just to try and get them to crack half a smile or, or you know, just kind of look away first. And he, he's not been that. He, he's been about as friendly a guy as I've ever, as I've ever uh, uh, you know, stood against. Uh, but I, I love it when the guys try and, try and you know, act tougher than me. A lot of times in, in the sport of MMA, they say when you find a guy smiling, that's when he's hurt. And you're always smiling during the fight, so people can't really say that about you. But do you find that when you fight your opponents? Uh, no, I smile. I, I can't help it. I, I really don't have a rhyme nor reason. Uh, you know, in the Avengers movie, they say uh, uh, Bruce Banner only turned into Hulk. His secret was he's always mad. He said, well, my secret is I'm always happy. <laughs> When you're looking at Sam right now, what kind of things are going through your mind about the fight? Um, you know, I'm just looking forward to a good fight. I mean, that's that's pretty much what, what it comes down to. He's going to be a tough opponent. You know, it's got my hands full. Do you think he's the toughest test yet? Oh, without a doubt. And you're prepared for that? Yeah. Yes. And what about you, Sam? Do you think Jason's your toughest test yet, or do you think you fought better guys before? I think he's definitely my toughest tough uh, fight yet. Uh, MFC has made sure to go out and find the best of the best, and he's 10 and 0 with 10 submissions, uh, one TKO. Uh, he's not only never been beaten, he's never, you know, never let somebody escape to the third round. Um, so no, definitely toughest tough, toughest test yet. What about if you're in a choke? Are you going to tap, or are you going to go to sleep? I, I'll go to sleep. I said, yeah, they, I'm not gonna, not gonna tap to a choke. What about you? What if you're in that position? Do you? Do... I'm the same. I'll go to sleep. You go to sleep? Yeah. Well, who's going to sleep this Friday night? Sam Alvey or Jason Sell? Who wants it more? Who's going to sleep, guys? You know what? Later that night, you know, 12 o'clock after the fight's over, I'll be sleeping with the, the shiny new belt under my, under my pillow. <laughs> I'll be the one with the belt on. I'll be dreaming away. I don't feel the confidence exuding from you guys. I just feel like you guys are just saying that. I don't feel that vibe like, like you really want it. Well, I'm not a cocky person, you know. I don't need to, I don't need to tell them. I can talk all I want. It doesn't mean anything. I, I go and I prove my actions. So you feel like you're going to be the champion? Yeah, without a doubt. And you? Not a doubt in my mind. I'm walking out with that belt. Guys, watch live Access TV. This is face-to-face -face with... South and Alvi, it's going down. Maximum Fighting Championship. I think I'm the mo most uh, most excited guy in the room right now. These guys are both smiling, but I don't feel that fire coming from them. But I bet you a hundred million dollars that I don't have that these two guys are gonna go into that ring on Friday night and just smash each other. Thank you for watching. DavePavlich.com.